Hello, 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 everybody. How is everyone doing tonight? <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, no one showed up yet, so we'll give that a few minutes. Sorry for the hair. Kind of looking like garbage. But yeah, just uh, very excited about all the um, new releases for Marvel figures. So, yeah, just going to be waiting a little while until some people join. <clears throat> uh, much apologies about what's happening in the background. So, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we have someone here. How are you doing today, sir and or madam? <clears throat> and uh, sorry if this isn't how my live streams normally go, uh, because, well, I mean, again, it has been about, it's been a while, I know, since my last live stream. But I do hope you guys do enjoy this. Sorry about the close-up. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I recently found out that they um, uh, not released, um, announced some new Marvel figures, which I'm pretty excited. For. Hey, TJ, what's up, man? How are you tonight, dude? Well, uh, we have one person, and that is, <coughs> sorry, throat's kind of, sorry, throat's kind of, uh, good, uh, you're doing good, well, that's good, so, um, yeah, uh, have you seen any of the new, like, action figure releases, or releases announcements for, um, any Marvel Legends, and if so, uh, which one are you the most excited about, TJ? <clears throat> Again, sorry, throat's just kind of uh, the one from the new, um, like the newer one that's put on the um, X Force body. Is that the one you're talking about? Because that's the only one that I've personally seen, and he looks like a very good upgrade, in my opinion. <clears throat> For me, the two out of that wave that I would want, like the most, would definitely be the Magneto and the Wolverine. Those two are just phenomenal looking. Yeah, but that Wolverine definitely one of the ones that seems like the biggest improvement. Especially the fact that they put it on the um, X-Force Wolverine. So aside from like the Wolverine, uh, are you excited for any of the other ones, TJ? <clears throat> oh, we got a third person. How are you doing? Oh, they left. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm personally really excited for the, uh... oh yeah, they are releasing a new um, movie, Deadpool. You see, that one looks pretty good, but I still would prefer the two-pack one, in my opinion, just because it does come with a few more accessories. It's going to be a little more, but that's the one I personally am, am still going to try and get. <clears throat> So have you picked up any uh, good figures or new figures uh, lately, TJ? Oh, 
oh yeah, everything's good. I'm just kind of no, that's just kind of uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, sorry, I, I've just kind of had a long day. I've been looking at <clears throat> a, a screen for a while, and I do have a bright light shining my eyes. So if it looks like I'm sad, I'm not. I'm 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 doing good. I'm happy. Uh, still kind of sad that uh, Hobo still hasn't come back yet, but aside from that, <clears throat> we're doing good. And I'm just kind of taking a picture for... Uh, I picked up the new... Oh, dude, you're so lucky. Like, I haven't even seen the new Deadpool 2 pack yet. Like, like I, I good for you, good for you. Good for you. I'm proud of that. Proud of you, man. I'm live on you. Okay, uh, we were at almost the seven minute mark, and so far, uh, thank you for being here, TJ. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Uh, I'm on, on YouTube, so please come and hang out. Yeah. Hang out and talk about the new Marvel. Okay. Okay, story and Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll definitely try to check Amazon out. Uh at some point see if I can uh, find them. Well, uh, for me, the newest uh, figure I've picked up is from the new Joe Fix-It Wave, and I was pretty happy when I found it, and that is Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, Kang's always been one of my favorite characters, has been a favorite character of mine ever since... Uh, what was this show? What was this show? Um, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, it, and I still love that show. I, I was so sad. <clears throat> mm, sorry, throat. I was so sad when they canceled it. Like, that just kind of made me very, very sad. In my fourth, fifth, it was either fourth or fifth grade, it got canceled for me. But I loved that show so much, and I really do want to watch it again. Oh, and uh, speaking of that Wolverine, uh, yep, there is an image of him. Uh, shout out to Boog ACBA on. <clears throat> mm, sorry. Shout out to Boog ACBA on Instagram. Yep. Like, I mean, he looks like a, like a very good upgrade of like other Wolverine figures that we've had in the past. So pretty excited about that. And I'm going to try and find some more images. Oh, and another image from, oh, what's up, Brandon? How are you doing, my child? And another new figure coming out, which is another one I'm really excited for, is Classic Ultron. Again, this is from Boog ACBA on Instagram. So if you're not already following him, uh, go check him out. Uh, yeah, we can chat on Facebook. Uh later brandon like tomorrow if you're not busy if that sounds good with you or if you want to like send a message right now on facebook yeah you can okay 
Uh, my favorite show is The Old Spectacular. Yes. Like, I grew up watching <clears throat> Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends. Wait. Yeah, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, which was a 1980s cartoon with Iceman and Firestorm. Firestorm? That's, I don't think that's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can, def like, if you're not, like, if I get done early with the live stream, then, yeah, I'll send a message. Or we could do it tomorrow. But, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I grew up on Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, which was, like, a 1980s cartoon. Uh, yeah, the 1994 Spider-Man is definitely a big, like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, if I had never seen that show along with, like, the um, Incredible Hulk cartoon from the 90s and Fantastic Four cartoon from the 90s, like, I do not think I would, uh, that is indeed a sexy TV, Brandon. Indeed. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I'm so excited for all these figures. Like, <clears throat> but the one I'm very, 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 and I repeat, very, 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 is, uh, where is it, where is it? Ch -ch 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 -ch. But the one I am very excited for, and this is from an Instagram account called Excuse me, uh, marvelous legend on Instagram. So it's marvelous underscore legend on Facebook, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and yeah, like Modoc. And from what it looks like, he comes with an interchangeable face and a couple of inter uh, interchangeable hands, and that's just a phenomenal looking figure. Like the older one is going to definitely beat it in, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, detail and sculpt more than likely, but this one just looks very, very cool. I really, really like the alternate face it comes with. And that little, um, fire stand that he comes with, that's, that's badass. That's really badass. <clears throat> and again, I really do apologize for my throat kind of sounding like this. <clears> throat> It's kind of a, eh. And if I do, do ever, like, get kind of caught up looking at my phone, I do apologize. People keep messaging me. So. <clears throat> oh. Oh, and I got a new follow on Instagram from fanboy from the fifth dimension so just wondering what is your top five favorite legends of this year uh my top five so far from this year like um from just ones i have personally bought uh okay i gotta remember which ones came out this year though um i know i recently just bought kang uh, yeah, he looks really cool. Uh, and welcome to the live stream, uh, Austin Collectibles. Yeah, and I also agree with that statement. He probably is going to be the first one I can afford to. Uh, oh, what up, Venom Studios, also known as Universe Studios. Uh, hi, Carnage. What is your thoughts on the new Modoc? Uh, personally, <clears throat> like I think a lot more people are going to be able to afford this one rather than the old one. And I think the sculpt and detail look very, very good on it so far. And going back to your question, Brandon, uh, so far, like from ones that I know came out this year, I got to go with the movie Venom. The, uh, the last one from Toy Biz was like 200. Yeah. Yeah. It was very expensive, but anyway, the, um, top five that I'm very very excited about are personally the or that I personally think are phenomenal figures this year uh, the Hugh Jackman Wolverine that we got which I have one of them and that's the one with the leather jacket uh, He he's a pretty good one but I will be making a top 
five at least, ten if I did buy enough figures from 2020. But one of them definitely going to be the um, Venom and Logan from the Fox movies, because I love the Fox movies. <clears throat> Even though some of them are kind of on the eh side. Uh, the new King, the Conqueror, he's definitely up there so far. And I've only had him for, oh, about a week, I'd say. And I love him. He's pretty great. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll answer your question in a second, Venom, uh, after I... And who else was this year? Oh, yeah, the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure was this year. Uh, in my opinion, I personally really loved the... um. Ooh, the Dark Beast from that uh, new, um, well, somewhat new. Anyway, from the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure wave, I personally loved the Dark Beast. He is a pretty good figure. And then the final one, which I know I did definitely pick up, is definitely Warpath. And, like, I mean, personally, I just do not like his little shoulder pads, but aside from that, he's pretty good in my opinion. And going back to you, your question, Venom, um, do you think we will ever get a new Spider-Hulk? I mean, I hope they do. Like, I mean, people love Spider-Man, people love the Hulk, so I really do hope they, like, give us a brand new version of that figure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, uh, I'm going to say, like, a couple of the figures... Um, New Joe fixed it wave are definitely gonna be um what's the word? Um Peg Warners. And those two are definitely gonna be like the uh gamer versus Captain America in the stall suit and the Iron Man because well they come two per case, but yeah, the Nimrod set that's definitely mm, excuse me. But the Nimrod set definitely, definitely one I cannot afford. <laughs> and just so you know, this is apple juice. I love apple juice. It's very good. <clears throat> but I am very, very, very excited to pick up the other... How many figures are in that wave again? Two arms, two legs, body. Yeah, like I'm excited to pick up the other five figures from that wave because this king is definitely... Like, one of the better ones I have ever gotten. Like, figure-wise, anyway. Like, I mean, one of his feet is a little stiff. So, that's a little disappointing. But, aside from that, pretty good. <clears throat> uh, if they make a big wheel figure, I will... Be content with my life. Uh, I think I know who that is, but I'm gonna check it up. Um, well, you see, I'm kind of like in the middle on the gamer verse figures. Like, so far, the only two gamer verse figures I've picked up are the Kamala Khan from the Abomination Wave and the Iron Man from that Abomination Wave. And I do think the Abomination is pretty go good. Hello there. How are you doing, Collector? Yeah, but definitely this Iron Man, one of my personal favorites. Oh yeah, he came out this year too, I think, right? Wasn't the Fantastic Four also released this year? Or technically this year? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, how are you doing tonight, Collector? Yeah, yeah, I miss him too, dude. I really do. Like, it's been kind of boring on Instagram and YouTube without him. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I'm, I just hope he uh, is doing well, he's safe, he's healthy, and just things like that. Because I do miss him. Like, I would say he is definitely uh, one of the better friends I've met over the internet, YouTube, Instagram, anything like that. Yeah. 
So, yeah. Yeah, R.I.P. Hobo. R.I.P. Hobo. The big sad. Oh, and uh, let me just check out. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I kind of found a photo showing more of like the. Uh, let me just kind of do something real quick. Like I found a um image of the uh, full um. Why is my brain blanking so hard? The brand new X Men wave with the um, Omega Sentinel, the Tri Sentinel, and like. Uh, a handful of other figures. <clears throat> and another big shout out to a big YouTuber, Shardimus Prime, for uh, having this on his Insta. Yep, uh, I do apologize for the image and how it looks, but there's the brand new Magneto I want. And there's the Wolverine that TJ was talking about. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I hate Fortnite, but I personally have not played Fortnite since it first came out in 20, was it 2017 or 2018? I think it was 2017 to 2018 that it came out. <clears throat> yeah, uh, since the figures come in the wave, I'm probably just going to start collecting. And that's the thing. If I get the game reverse, I have to complete it. It's weird for me. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of know how you feel, dude. Like, all, like, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but yeah, that's kind of what it is for me. Like, that bottom shelf is just X Men, and there's literally multiple Wolverines on that shelf, and about three of them are in the same position and spot. And up there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is the uh, Galactus build figure from Toy Biz, and I was very happy when I found that, because I found that at an antique show for about $75, and that is still one of the best pickups I've ever gotten in my life, because I know that figure goes for a lot more. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, also in that wave is... The brand new Professor X. And I don't think it's a terrible looking figure. I think it's just a little, you know, plain. Like, the costume has not not a whole lot. And there is Moira Metaggart or something like that. I know her name is Moira. And, yeah, like, I wouldn't say she's, like, my favorite out of the way. Like, she's one, definitely one of the weaker ones along with um, the Professor X. But there is also a brand new Cyclops, which I really do like that costume. I what? Oh, you want the Magneto? Yeah, I do too, uh, gamer. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I do too, uh, collector. Mm. Excuse me. And then we have a Jean Grey figure. A brand new classic looking one. But I think that's actually what she wears in the uh, new, um, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. I know it's like an X-Men story. I can't remember the full name, but I know it's when they all live on Krakoa. Everything like all the mutants live on their own little island of Krakoa. And here is a figure that I think is definitely one of the more like interesting ones and that is yo what up opt how are you doing man it's been a while how are you doing but uh yeah anyway there is the brand new omega sentinel and if you buy all of those figures you get the tri sentinel oh i'm i'm glad you're doing good bro and you're welcome but anyway that brand new tri sentinel like mm, like it's weird i don't think it looks good but i also really want to figure out like but i also really want it uh what what's up paul john gonzalez how are you been 
How are you doing, dude? And I know they're also releasing a brand new Nova figure, a more classic looking Nova. Uh, that's good. That's good. But anyway, they're bringing out a brand new Walgreens exclusive Nova, I believe. Along with a, another movie Deadpool, which I personally think looks okay. Like, will I get it? Possibly. Like, I mean, it's basically just a repaint, so it's not the most interesting. And there's another look at the um, Modoc. <clears throat> And then a big one, in my opinion, a classic Ultron. Yeah, he is definitely coming back, Paul John. Yeah, I'm very excited about that, too. <clears throat> uh, I think I love the, the Deadpool. Looks like the X... I mean, you're not wrong. It does look a lot like the X-Force one. Or, uh, well, I mean, it was basically just a regular costume. He just got burned. But yeah, it is the X-Force costume, in my opinion. Like, it looks a lot like it. <clears throat> and I'm going to be trying to find a, a few more images, because I know... There was a few figures that were announced today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I know it they were trying to do like a little bit of a throwback to the uh X Force costume because that one was gray and when um Fire Fist? Yeah, Fire Fist. When uh Fire Fist kind of like uh burned Deadpool, his costume did get gray. So yeah, I would definitely believe they intentionally made it look like that. <clears throat> and here's kind of like a little group shot of them all together. And that's from xmany87 on Instagram. And yeah, they all look pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I know the uh, Modoc is definitely going to be a deluxe figure, but he's not going to be able to come in a normal deluxe figure type of box. He's going to be coming in one of those, uh, like a bigger one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm still trying to see if they uh, have any more images. <clears throat> so if you guys have like any questions for me or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask. <clears throat> and... I actually found a image for the brand new uh, Deadpool. <coughs> Sorry, so it's just kind of been very itchy lately. But anyway, uh, there's a image of the brand new Deadpool, and yeah, he does look kind of like the X Force one from the movie, and it's going to be an Amazon exclusive. So, uh, I'll definitely be checking Amazon, not frequently, but I'll definitely be checking. And another one I am very, very excited about, mm, excuse me, is from a, uh, sorry, voice, mouth, not work, want. <coughs> But anyway, they're going to be releasing 
Silver Surfer Black at Walgreens. And he looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Like, I really like how he looks. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Sorry. Brain's trying to say other things while Brain's not really in the mood to. Uh, yeah, he really does look awesome. Oh. And. Okay. And there's kind of what the uh, Modoc box is going to kind of look like. Shout out to Marvel Legends series, all one word on Instagram. But. Yeah, like that MODOK, definitely phenomenal. Beautiful figure, very excited for when he comes out. <clears throat> and here's an image of, of all the exclusive ones, I believe. Not so sure about the Ultron, but I definitely know all the ones on the top are exclusive, starting with the classic Nova, he's going to be Walgreens. Uh, Silver Surfer, but he he's the black Silver Surfer from the, um, the um, what was it called? Uh, the Thanos wins storyline, where him plus the Annihilation Wave try and fight and kill Thanos. Thanos. And then there's the Amazon exclusive Deadpool. And then right there is <clears throat> uh, <coughs> uh, I love the Toy Biz version, but do you think it will be replaced? The MODOK. Um, well, you see, some people really like Hasbro. So, like, they're thinking, oh, yeah, the Hasbro one's definitely going to be the better one out of all of them, blah, 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 blah. But there are also people who like, really, really like the MODOK one. Like, personally, to me, I think the MODOK looks pretty good, the old one, anyway. I've just never really enjoyed, like, just that, the fact that his teeth are, like, all the time. But with the new one, you get the choice with closed mouth, or, like, I think that's a pretty good upgrade. So, personally, for me, uh, the new one is definitely going to replace the old one. I do not have the old one, but I definitely think the older one will be kind of like in between, but that is a very good question. Opt Like just with personal preference, I think people will make their own decision. Well, I definitely <clears throat> will do the same thing. Uh, yeah, he does get an interval. Uh, interchangeable face as well which definitely a big upgrade because you get the opportunity to give him like more expression more life in my opinion that's why I personally <clears throat> love it when figures come with a couple of different heads with different facial expressions like the um who was it who was it the Bullseye from the Man Thing wave, which came out about three years ago, I want to say. What is up, Life Motion Productions? How are you doing tonight, dude? <clears throat> 2017. Yep, that's what I was thinking. I just wasn't positive. But yeah, that figure, like, I personally really enjoyed it because you had, like, him with, like, a sinister smiling face, like, and then one with his mouth wide open, so you could get him into more dynamic poses, showing emotion and other things like that. Like, personally, I really like just the sinister looking face. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely one of the better type of things they could do with any new Marvel figure. Excuse me. I'm not going to lie. I ate kind of fast, so I'm kind of hiccuping. Uh, 
I hope we get a new comic book Gladiator Hulk. I do not think we have had one recently. Okay. Uh, sorry, kind of reading both questions at the same time. But uh, why was your mind going kind of crazy last night? Uh, because of the new releases or announcements for Marvel figures? <clears throat> I, I think the most recent one was like about 2007 and I think it was the what wave was it um not Nimrod uh or Holocaust or whatever his name is um I can't think of the exact wave but yeah it was like 2006 2007 Um, I don't think it was Toy Biz, though. I think it was, like, early Hasbro. I mean... Gladiator Hulk action figure. I know they made one like a couple of years after the um uh no the Sony releasing confirmation of Toby and Okay, I didn't hear that. I did not hear anything about that life motion. I am mm. Toby and Andrew and Tom Hall. Mm. That's gonna be Okay, that sounds like the most amazing thing I've ever yeah, the Annihilus Bath. Okay. Yeah. Marvel. Yeah, this was like before the um, movie version, this was the more recent version. <coughs> Freak, my throat is itching. Yep, Sony Spanish YouTube channel, and they took it down. Ooh, fancy. So, as of, from the news you have heard, it is definitely coming out that that's phenomenal. Oh, yay, we have four people in the chat. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm not like my usual energetic self. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because, well, for one, my throat kind of on the itchy side. If I talk any louder, I'm probably going to be coughing a lot. So, again, I do apologize. Uh, we should be hearing the official announcement any day now. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely should. I really, really, really hope it's soon, though. Like, because I've been waiting for this ever since, like, Tom Holland got into... Uh, sorry, kind of reading a comment. Anyway, I've been kind of dreaming of this ever since Tom Holland became Spider-Man. <coughs> Sorry, again, throat's just kind of draining and filling with gunk. But yeah, I also hope they make a new blob figure. Or, yeah, like, make a new one. Like, I mean, I think they did okay with the older one. But I mean, for how much people want for him, it's just stupid that they haven't made a new one yet. <sighs> <clears throat> excuse me but yeah the blob we definitely would not do need a new figure of him so uh, life motion and venom have you guys picked up any new figures lately 
Uh, Optima, have you also picked up any new figures lately? Because uh, uh, if Spider moves, uh, Spider Verse movie is true, we will get new to. You're not wrong. You were really not wrong, but I know that in like 2014, 2015. Yo, what's up, Rumble? How you been, dude? I'm I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. It's been a little while, dude. How are you doing? But uh yeah, anyway, I know like they did make a not Toby, Andrew figure in about 2015 with the ultimate green goblin wave and i personally have that figure and i think he's pretty decent like i mean the articulation's a little weird but i mean it's pretty good other than that <clears throat> uh not gonna lie but they should definitely redo <clears throat> Uh, not going to lie, but they should definitely redo the Spider-Man 3 and whole trilogy for Sam Raimi figures, like how they did it with the X-Men figures. <clears throat> okay, I kind of agree with that, but personally, I do not want them to make a, what's his name, Topher Grace Venom figure. Like, that Venom is just way too small in my opinion. Like, I personally did enjoy Spider-Man 3. Not as much as one or two, but I, I did enjoy it. Uh, I got the new Mysterio, new MCU Spider-Man and Iron Man Mark 47, the two-pack. Oh, from the two-pack, okay. Uh, Puma and Retro Peter Parker for Christmas. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely know I have that Mysterio, Puma, and Peter Parker. <coughs> And I do personally think out of all of them, Puma and Peter Parker are definitely the two I really enjoy the most. Uh, okay, now on to life motion. Uh, people were saying that it's gonna be it's gonna be at CCXP Brazil Com Comic Con tomorrow. Uh, because and I think that's the best way to announce a Spider-Man film. I, I agree with that life motion. Uh, what are what am I looking forward to in 2021? Uh, <clears throat> uh, <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry, that was very, very weird and loud. Uh, but anyway, for 2021, like, figure-wise, I'm definitely looking forward to the brand new MODOK, Ultron, and the X-Men wave. Mainly the Wolverine and the Magneto from that wave. And life-wise, uh, well, st still in college, hopefully, possibly with a brand new roommate. And that reminds me, after I get done with this live stream, I need to go check something in my email. And... I just got the Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. I'm not a huge fan of like Marvel Select figures, but I think I know which one you're talking about, and that one definitely does look pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, I wish Spider-Man films mm, would use Puma more. He is such an underrated villain. I agree with that. Like, I fully agree with that. Like, I know from like the one YouTube video I did see about Puma. He is a very, very underrated character. Uh, there is also rumors around going that, going around that Dane DeHaan, Kristen Dun Kirsten Dunst, Dane DeHaan, Kirsten Dunst, and Alfred Mol Molina, 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 anyway, uh, are going to be in Spider-Man 3. Okay, I'm very... I know who Kirsten Dunst is. And... <clears throat> sorry, my throat. Ooh, which one am I least excited for? Um... Well, personally, 
Uh, I'm least excited for the um sorry I'm having a brain fart uh the Walgreens exclusive Nova because I don't think a whole lot of people really want a classic Nova I mean personally I don't but I definitely do think that that one's definitely like one of the weaker ones that they are trying to like sell at as an exclusive another one i think is definitely one i'm least excited for definitely the professor x like i will personally be getting him mainly because i need a professor x on my shelf so that's the main reason why i want him yeah i heard about the jamie fox electro like that i'm excited about i'm really excited about that because uh because <clears throat> Like, I thought he did a fantastic job in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. God, I hate having a sore throat. Yeah, but I'm personally really, really excited for the new Spider-Man movie. And I really do hope they kind of like show a little bit of how they get introduced in the Doctor Strange movie, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, the newest figure you got, Optima, is the classic Ultron from Iron Man 3 Bath, Iron Monger. The Ironmonger Bath Ultron. That is definitely one of the cooler looking Ultrons that I've seen. <clears throat> I personally do not have him, but I really always did want him. Just because, I don't know why, like, I always thought his body was just, like, cool and the head was just awesome. And I know they, uh, what did they do? They released an Ultron head with the retro wave vision, I think. Not positive, but I think they did. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. I'm very excited about what you just said, Life Motion. Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be in Spider-Man 3. That is great. I love that. Yeah, we do need more inhuman figures. I, I agree with that, Optima. Optima. Uh, Venom, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> Multiverse. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, I know they released Medusa and da, 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 Black Bolt from, like, the Inhumans. But, yeah, we need a Lockjaw. We need Triton. We need... um. What's his face? Karnak. And Karnak, definitely one of the more underrated ones, in my opinion. Like, he can sense the pressure point and weakness in anything. So, like, say, for example, he's going up against Bruce Lee. He can see Bruce Lee's weakness, which is probably nothing. Uh, we are getting a first look at Spider-Man 3 this month. And... By tomorrow is the best bet. Okay. Yeah, I would also love uh, Marvel Legends Lockjaw Optima. <clears throat> so, can you guys hear me okay? Like, the throat's not really um, bothering you or anything. Uh, we need more Deadpool 2 figures, like Fire Fist and Juggernaut. I agree with that too. But instead of Fire Fist, I would say Colossus. And Fire Fist, I think... Like, I mean, they could possibly make it a three-pack. Sounds goot. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you sound goot. I, I like that. Thank you, Optima. I, I try to sound as goot as I can. Sorry, uh, I just heard my neighbor coming home. Okay. Uh, where was I? 
Goot, goot, goot. Okay. <clears throat> Again, sorry, throat's just kind of like not happy or anything. But uh yeah. Okay, I, I want that too. Like, I know they've already released who did have they released? Um they've released like three Wolverines, Mystique. Uh, a Professor X, a Magneto. Yeah, I think they could like definitely get a couple more out there. Like, um, like personally for me, I want them to make a Toad, Cyclops, like just everyone from like the first movie, because mm, that saber tooth definitely my favorite looking saber tooth that they've had ever. Uh, I would also like Runaways Wave. That would be so sick. The most underrated Marvel team besides Alpha Flight, in my opinion. True. Like, I personally have not seen anything about the Runaways or have read anything about the Runaways because it's just something I'm not a big fan of. But yeah, I definitely kind of agree with that. We definitely do need to kind of get more Runaway figures. And I mean, Alpha Flight, another underrated team. And I think, like, I know they gave us, like, a five-pack or something like that. I think. I'm not positive if it was a five-pack or not. But I know it came with, <clears throat> like, the remaining characters we needed to complete the uh, Alpha Flight, aside from Guardian and... Brain fart, Sasquatch, Sasquatch. Okay, I thought there was like something in my head. Sorry. And I would love to have a Deadpool two Colossus Juggernaut. Check. Yeah, that. Like, I mean, how they haven't already announced it already is kind of phenomenal, in my opinion. Like, it's weird. Uh, again, sorry if I'm getting kind of distracted. People are talking to me. <coughs> but I really, really do hope that they... Oh. Well, actually... Uh, you, you can technically... Like, for example, like, I had Dr. Doom out just because, why not? But, like, I mean, you can make a Doombot just from this, like, basically all you have to do is just, like, take his head out of this and just use the body and bam, Doombot. Like, I mean, it's like they had the idea for it, but they didn't go through with it all the way. But, yeah, like, I mean, if they do what they kind of did with, like, the, um, AIM agents, <clears throat> AIM agents, uh, not AIM, uh, the, like, the Hydra 2 pack that they released as a, um, Toys R Us exclusive, I believe it was, like, if they did something kind of like that, that would be pretty good. Uh, prediction for movie figures, Tobey Maguire, sorry, man. That's a, that's basically a given. They have to give us a Toby one because he kind of did start off every Marvel movie, like just personally to me, because his first movie came out in, like the first Spider-Man movie came out like early 2000s, like 2000, 2001, something like that, I think. And I knew Spider-Man <clears throat> 2 came out like 2004. But yeah, I definitely agree with that. Nicholas Cage, Ghost Rider, I fully agree with that. Green Goblin and New Goblin. Yeah, I personally really think James Franco does need... Uh... Yeah, I know the uh, X-Men... X-Men 2000. Yeah, 2002. Okay, that was my third guess. <clears throat> Nicholas Cage, uh, movie Cyclops and Jean Grey movie. Yeah, that too. I... I really didn't like those two. Like, they work together, in my opinion. 
Just as long as they don't give us like the um Phoenix one. Uh, Storm movie and Iceman. I would also really like that. Like I know I loved the Iceman fig figure. Uh, the Iceman from that movie. Uh, definitely need a movie Carnage. And I know they gave us an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, but it does it could use a really good update in my opinion. 2000, 2002. Uh, what are my thoughts on the new Wesley Snipes Blade figure? I didn't know they were <clears throat> making a new Wesley Snipes build build a figure, uh, action figure. But uh, personally, I have not seen all the movies. The only one I have seen was Blade Two, I think. And that was like when I was really young and I've been meaning to watch them. I just haven't. I know they're good, but I just haven't had time to watch them. Uh, am I looking forward to getting the new Silver Surfer? Yes, I am, because I have no Silver Surfer in my collection at all. And the new one is definitely one I really, really want. <clears throat> Uh, we actually already did get a um, Venom figure. Or do you mean like um, Spider-Man 3 Venom? Like solo movie Venom or Spider-Man 3 Venom? Which one are you talking about, Life Motion? <clears throat> have I played Among Us? Yes. Yes, I had. Have. Oops, I meant if we got a new Blade figure. Like, I mean, yeah, I would definitely check it out. Like, I mean, I know Wesley Snipes looked pretty good. As Blade. <laughs> and I'm not so sure if this is still a thing, but I think they're making a Blade TV show. I'm not positive, but I think they are. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely do need to go with a Wesley Snipes blade figure because the only other one I can think of is uh, one from like Toy Biz from like a long 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 time ago like a really long time ago <clears throat> okay yeah I that is definitely I, I agree with that life motion. Like that's a pretty good title. I mean, I think it's gonna be a little a like they'd probably do something a little different for it, like Spider Man Rise of the Six, something like that. Like just to make it sound a little more dramatic and everything like that. But yeah, that would definitely be uh, the fan title, in my opinion, like Fantastic, Fantastic Four. What am I thinking? Huh. And yeah, sorry, something was moving my garbage. Spider Man Home Wars. Yeah, I like that. That's good. <coughs> it's really good. I like that. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And I know this is probably kind of like something not a whole lot of people would want, but I am still a huge fan of like the Fantastic Four movie from 2005, 2007, both of those. Like, I don't care what people people think of them. Those were my movies growing up. Like, I always loved watching the Fantastic Four. The Thing was always my number one favorite character from that. And him and Human Torch are the two reasons I ever watched those movies. But I do hope we do get those. Uh, imagine Chris Evans coming back as Human Torch. Dude, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, there's 
something kind of in my teeth. Oh. Yeah, I really do agree with that life motion. And uh, uh, I'm going to read this out loud because it just made my night. Carnage, thank you for being such a nice perk. Yeah, I already messed up. Thank you for being... Carnage, thank you for being such a nice person and making great videos. You are one of the best... One of the best person... Uh, okay, you used the wrong plural, but I get what you mean. Thank you so much, dude. I really, really appreciate it. That, that really made my night. My beautiful Carnage the Kid... What's up, Spider Baby? <clears throat> but I really do appreciate that universe. Really, I really do. Thank you so much for saying that. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know why I'm the way I am, but I'm glad people enjoy it. So how are you doing tonight, my beautiful little Spider Dude Productions? I'm your Spidey babe. Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Yeah. So have you gotten any uh, new figures lately, my spider dude? Uh, but da -da 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 -da. If this live-action Spider-Verse movie works, there are possibilities for Spider-Man... I did not even think about that. But you are so true, Life Motion. You are so true. So true. Yay, Spider Dude is here. Yeah, he is here. I'm happy about that too, Venom. Uh, I'm doing fine, just waiting for my package. How about you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Just sitting here, having a nice, uh, good old uh, conversation with people over the internet. Uh, that's perfectly fine, Austin. Glad glad you're back glad you're coming back watching me talk about random things okay uh i think this is one of the most people one of okay let me start over this is the most amount of people i think i've had in a live stream in a long time well, well it was at eight a little bit ago but just dropped to seven but i mean eight definitely the most i've had in a long, long time, so I'm very, very happy about that. <clears throat> uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, I know I picked up a, a Sam Raimi figure like two years ago at this point, I want to say. And he's very loose, but I didn't have one, and I really thought I would get one because nostalgia and stuff like that. Uh, just imagine if Venom takes place in the Garfield unit. I, I would love that. That mm, Yes. 100% agree with what you just said, Life Motion. Uh, I need one more subscriber to get to 60 subs. Well, that's awesome. I need... Uh, is it 7 or 8? It's either 7 or 8 until I'm at 200. And that's... Mm, I'm very excited and about that because I've been doing this whole YouTube channel thing for about five years, I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Like I know over the past couple days, it's been like kind of moving from 190 to 193 was the highest, I believe. And right now, I believe I'm at 192. Two. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's at 192. Mm. Uh, yeah, I am almost there. I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, but where, 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 where? Well, I mean, I'm pretty happy with my. Oh my god, guys, I'm closer. I actually got 194 now. 
It's cool. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, you are really close. Like, if you're almost at 60, if that's what you said. Yeah, if you're almost at 60, you're over halfway there. So you're doing a fantastic job, Austin. And my name is also Austin, too, but uh, uh, I prefer going by Carnage or Ace. So, yeah, just feel free to call me Carnage or anything like that. Like, just as long as you don't, like, call me anything, like, bad, I'm okay with it. But, like, this just also made my night. Like, what Venom said in this, this just kind of made my night. 194. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, dude, you deserve like 1 million subs. I mean, I kind of agree with that, but at the same time, that's also a lot, and I like being like closer with people, like stuff like that. Uh, oh, shoot, my battery is at 11%. I got to charge my phone. I'll get my other phone. Oh, look at you, big fancy boy with two phones. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. Yeah, take your time. Uh, I'll probably still be here for a while. Uh, I'm struggling to make a YouTube channel banner. Do you know how? Uh, I personally do not know how to make one. Personally, I just used like one of the do uh, one of the default ones. <coughs> one of the uh, default ones that they had. Uh, but I mean, uh, if you find someone on like. YouTube or Instagram that can show you how. I'm pretty sure they'd be happy to. Uh, what if Morbius and Venom 2 take place in the other Spiders' universes and Wanda makes a gateway to 616 and we, and we have Spider-Man 3? You see, that's a very interesting idea. Like, on one hand, I do think that's a good idea. But on another hand, I think that's just a lot more things they have to do, and I don't know if they really want to do it. Oh, good job, dude. Hey, dude, I was pretty excited when I got one subscriber. Like, I'm not joking about that. Like, um, let me pull up my channel real quick. Take that away, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, like uh, that one right there. This video right here. This was when I got my first ever subscriber. And I do not know if he is still making content or anything like that. But, I mean, he was a great guy. Um, I think his name, he left a comment for me. One comment. Yeah. Uh, this was my first ever subscriber. Merc with a mouth. And he basically just did a lot of comic book related things. But yeah. Same. Uh, Austin, I subbed to you. I watched some of your videos and they were great. Well, uh, good job, Venom, spreading that awesome awareness giving uh, people a subscriber. Fun fact, that's actually how I met Hobo. Like, I originally subscribed to his YouTube channel. Like, he commented on something I put on... What was that channel's name? Essos Hunters, I believe it was called. Like, I don't think they've made a video in a couple of months, but... Uh, 
I mean, without Essos Hunters, I don't think I would have ever met Hobo. So shout out to Essos Hunters and also Hobo for subscribing to me. And uh, da -da -da -da. thank you and message retracted. Okay, that's sweet. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> and what he said was, I would pay to watch a movie of just Carnage talking, and it would be entertaining. Welcome back, Spider-Dude. How are you? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to stand up a little bit. Knees are kind of hurting. Okay. Uh, JJ could have... Uh, JJ could have been from a different universe and he was the first character to jump okay okay stop stop messing with my mind right now life <clears throat> cause but then again that JJ also did have a full head of hair and I know time did pass between then and now but I think he wouldn't have lost all his hair like right here like I don't think that would have happened. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't replied to me either, dude. <coughs> but, I mean, he's taking a break for a while, and he can take as long as he needs. But I do miss him. I do miss him. Like, he was definitely... Actually, he was the first friend I ever met on YouTube, so... Kind of sad that... He hasn't been on in a couple months, but I mean, not much I can do about that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh I'm great as usual. Nice to see your face again. Thank you. Uh, he could be from Andrew's universe. Law. Well, True. True. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, you and Hobo were two YouTubers who were actually big and replied, which made my days like five months. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, dude. Yeah. Him and I uh, definitely really like helping other smaller creators. Anyway, uh, you and Hobo. Yeah, me and Hobo, like, we were both, like, smaller YouTube channels when we originally met. I want to say I had about a little less than 30. Like, I think I was, like, two subscribers away from 30, and he didn't have any. So I subscribed to him. He subscribed to me. We kind of helped each other out a little bit. And now, now look at him. Uh, if I remember correctly... That's not it. Uh... Oh, that would explain it. Yeah, look at him now. He has 837 subscribers. And he's been doing this for about... And he's been doing this for three years. So, yeah. And when I originally met him, he only had five videos, I believe. One, two, three. Yeah, so this was one of the videos I watched of him. So, yeah. Pretty insane how time flies. Uh, 2021 is going to be the best year for Spider-Man, in my opinion. I, I kind of agree with that, too, um, Motion. Yo, what up, gamer? How you doing, dude? <clears throat> hey, Spider-Dude, I would recommend getting the new Carnage from the Venom... Okay, yeah, I actually saw that Carnage figure, and it is definitely a big upgrade compared to the older one. 
uh, mainly because new articulation, new, um, what am I trying to say, sculpt. And I think this one also has butterfly joints, plus, and I repeat, plus an alternate absolute carnage head, which by far is a spicy. Mm. I'd prefer the Venom Bath Carnage. You see, that's basically just like a repaint and retool of the older one, but the newer one, definitely a huge upgrade because it has butterfly joints, uh, like actual sculpting of like the tentacles on the body, like where the black lines are <clears throat> on the old one. They are new on that one and stuff like that. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm making a stop motion about Captain America and the Winter Soldier coming out January 2021. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Uh, Austin, I can't wait for that. Da, 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 da. November 2021 is my best bet for Spider-Man 3 Marvel Legends. Agreed. Like, yeah, like sometime in November would definitely be like one of the better options for that. Oh, yeah. And I also heard they're going to be making a, um, like a brand new, what's his name, Cannonball, but this time with legs. And also they were talking about Tales to Astonish. So I really do hope they give us like a um, more classic. Oh. Uh, Oh, I'm sad to hear that, uh, Venom. Like, I mean, I personally did not have enough money to get him. Like, I saw him when I got Kang. Sorry, I just realized something. Like, on his back right thigh, he kind of has a little bit of, like, plastic chipping off. Uh... Uh, I like the accessories more on the Venom Bath one, and I also don't uh, care as much for the design of the... Okay. I mean, personally, I really like how the new one looks, but, I mean, you have your own opinion, and I completely respect that. I mean, the old one is still a pretty good one, too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, like, put them together. Like, I'm going to take, like, the accessories from the older one, or the second Carnage onto the new Carnage. And I don't know if it'll work or not, but I am personally really excited to try that out. <clears throat> kind of want the Diamond Select Carnage. Mm. You see, I kind of have always wanted the uh, Diamond Select one, but I mean, Diamond Select doesn't really scale with Marvel Legends so much. So. Mm, excuse me so much so i'm personally not gonna try and pick it up um late november because the film is coming out december 17th okay can't wait for that uh i think they'd probably do spider-man 3 figures after the movie you might also be right too gamer like they might make the figures after the after the movie, yeah. Okay, I did read that right. Burn fall to return a Spider Spider Man as character. They can't play else, my opinion. They are still that one movie. Hopefully, I hope they are in um Doctor Strange, but I mean, mm, maybe, maybe not. Uh. Uh, I wish they would make a new Punisher 2-pack with Punisher and a new Jigsaw. The last Jigsaw we had was a face-off 2-pack in the Toy Biz days. I completely agree with that, Venom. Or Universe. Or, I'm just going to call you Universe because that's how I originally knew you. Uh, anyway...
I completely agree with that Spider Dude. Arnold, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Doc Ock would be fantastic. <laughs> ah, Spider Man, get down! I <laughs> be... you got me thinking about that now. Thank you, Spider Dude. Uh, yeah, but I definitely agree with what you are saying, Universe. Uh, they definitely do need to make us a new Jigsaw. In a two-pack, like, maybe. But he might be coming out in the uh, new villain wave of Marvel Legends in the next few months. Uh, my little brother is a WWE collector, and I'm making an Andre the Giant custom because the one that's out there is, like, 135. Damn. I mean, good for you. You're being nasty, your little brother. Making him something that he probably would never be able to get. So, good on you, Austin. Good on you, dude. <clears throat> uh, I believe the... Or, I mean, sorry. Uh, I think the Spider-Man 3 figures are coming out in November. But the Toby and Andrew figures will probably be out after. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, you blew my cover, Spider-Man. Y- yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, John Malkovich was almost vulture in Spider-Man 4. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, the Toby and possibly Andrew stuff is stuff my bet would come out July, November 2022. You might also be right, gamer. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a live stream talking about the brand new Marvel Legend releases. All caps. Yes, Dad, is that you? Yes, it is Smoke Giant. How are you, dude? It's been a while. How have you been? Uh, if they casted a new Doc Ock for Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, my book would be either Mark Hamill or Arnold Schwarzenegger, as Spider-Man said. Lol. Uh, I'm good, man. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> uh, just basically waiting for Christmas at this point. Just basically trying to get the year over with. Oh, wait, it's December. Oh, I didn't even realize it was December 4th. Uh, fun fact for those of you who do not know, but last year, about an hour and 50 minutes from now, I got into my first ever car accident. So, I mean, whew, I mean, things could have gotten way, way different if, like, the time had changed. But 11 o'clock, December 4th, was the day I got into my car accident. So, I'm happy I was perfectly healthy, fine, and other junk like that. Uh, uh, my thoughts on the X-Men wave are... Like, I mean, they do have a couple of great figures, a couple of new figures that have not been made before. I am personally excited for the new Magneto because I've always loved the white costume Magneto. I don't know why. It's just, it flows so well with the character, in my opinion. Like, white. Just looks so good. Uh, Love Christmas. I love Christmas, too. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Like, uh, this is just stubble, and I been growing the mustache for about a week i want to say yeah my mom doesn't like it but i mean i'm happy with it so but thank you about that uh yeah i remember that yeah i remember that yeah uh alfred molina might be returning as doc oh that's alfred molina okay yeah i I knew the name sounded familiar i couldn't remember who he was though Dr. Parker's and Spider-Man 3. That is great. I love that idea. Like, he was the... the... Gosh dang it, Andrew. Gosh dang it. Yeah, thank God I survived. Uh, I can't wait for Christmas because then I can get my new figure finally. I mean, good good for you, Spider-Dude. But, um... Yeah, my stepsister is doing okay. Uh... Josh, I'm just going to say your real name because uh, Smoke Giant just kind of not rolling off the tongue right now. But she's doing good. She's in college. She's going to 
be like a doctor of some kind, if I remember correctly. Not positive, but she's going to be a doctor of some kind. Uh, what do I love about Christmas the most? Um, what do I love about Christmas the most? That's a good question. I haven't really thought about it in a while. Um, when I was younger, it was mainly just going downstairs and opening my presents, but, uh, not a love doctor, Josh, you silly little British boy. But yeah, uh, where was I? Uh, what do you love most about Christmas? Uh, personally for me, I uh, like mainly just spending time with my family. That's basically the thing. Uh, gamer, uh, personally excited for the new Cyclops figure, the one with Professor X head. But the, yeah. Uh, I have Magneto from the Apocalypse, Beth. I got him from GameStop. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty good deal on a Magneto. She, she does not have a washing machine. No. No, she does not. What if every past Spider-Man film villain is in Spider-Man 3? Okay. Then, judging by that logic, we would have Green Goblin, Sandman, two different Venoms. Well, one, technically. Like, I count the Venom movie as part of the Spider-Man canon, but, yeah, at least three, four characters. But I'm going to go with three, just going from movies. Doctor Octopus. We would also have an Electro, a Rhino. Who's the one? A lizard. Uh, not, well, there was a lizard in one of the movies, but he got cured, so there's at least six. So, at least six. Yeah, but I know there was two Green Goblins, but one of them uh, ended up being a good guy, so I'm not counting it. <coughs> Ow. Oh, I, I apologize. Josh, uh, he's not British. He is a Londonish. Uh, what do I want for Christmas? Uh, the big thing I really, really do want for Christmas is a Stanley Marvel Legend. That is the main thing I really, really want. Also, Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4. <laughs> uh, I hope not at Life Motion Productions. Uh, your steps is, should get no, no, stop it. Uh, as long as it, that it is written well, I am fine with it. Agreed, Venom. Or Universe. Spider-Man Endgame. I would love that. <clears throat> uh, there is two green, three. Uh, what from Ben Hol Holocomb? Holocomb? Hol Holcomb. Okay, uh, from Ben. Uh, what do I want for Christmas? Uh, like I answered in a, another question that asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I wanted a Marvel Legends Stanley, along with Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4. But another thing I would really, really want is like um, the full story of um, what's it called? Kingdom Come. Like, I've always wanted to read it, and I've never seen it online or anything about that. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that, Green Goblin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally forgot about that, Green Goblin. But yeah, okay, yeah, you are right. I also do want your voice for Christmas, Josh. It is still the best thing I've ever heard. Like, mm. <clears throat> Goblin, Doc Ock, Venom, Sandman, Goblin 2, Electro, Lizard, Reiner. Oh, right. I, I didn't count the like newer ones. Like From the older movies was the ones I was thinking of. But thank you, Gamer, for reminding me about Shocker, Vulture, Mysterio, Tinker. Oh, that was Tinker, right. I totally forgot about him. I mean, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, twelve Spider Man, uh, not twelve Spider Man, uh, twelve figure, twelve villains. So that's about four for one Spider Man. Just doing like very simple math and stuff. Italy. Yes, Optima. Italy. Uh, don't forget 2018 Venom, Riot, and Upcoming Carnage. Well, I mean, it's not fully confirmed that they are in a Spider-Man movie. Like, these are the ones that we definitely know are in a Spider-Man movie. But, I mean... <clears throat> I mean, but you also have to bring into the fact that how many of them are dead? Because I know Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Venom from the Toby series are dead. And Sandman's the only one alive from that. And then, so there's one, and then there's Green Goblin, Rhino, Lizard, Rhino, from what's his face is uh, Andrew Garfield, but I think Electro died in that. I'm not positive. I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I'm just gonna say five, just because Lizard got cured. So there's one less Rhino. I mean, Shark, uh, Shocker. And Vulture are still alive, I know. Tinkerer, I know he's still there, so there's at least eight. And I think Mysterio is dead, but at the same time, not fully positive. <clears throat> so there's at least eight different characters that they can go up against. Uh, where was I? Italy, 25. And you could count the Venom movie one, Second Shocker, and the new Green Goblin and Spider-Man 3. We could. Uh, I don't think we would have that many villains. Okay. Like, I personally think the most we would probably have would be six. Possibly less. And Toby can sacrifice himself for Andrew and Tom. He says, keep wearing the suit. And anyone, anyone can wear the mask true that would be a very very cool scene in my opinion life uh well i didn't count them since they don't have a movie yet and they're not connected yet true hello there how are you doing jazzy boy also venom is an anti-hero in that in the movie yes he is jizzy jazza electro blew up okay so electro is dead so one less so there's about seven characters well, you say that about Doc Ock, but the actor has been seen around where they were filming Spider-Man 3. Okay, so they're bringing him back. So there's at least eight different characters. Kingpin and Ultimate Green Goblin. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, you could count Spider-Verse as well, I guess, because why not? So you would have Scorpion, Female Doc Ock, Kingpin, and Ultimate Green Goblin. No, you can't. I think we might see Miles in Spider-Man 3. I hope we see him in Spider-Man 3 too. You're reaching... It was just for fun. Dr. Octavio. Wasn't that her name? Uh, I believe so, Jazz. Uh, is technically a Spider-Man movie. True, but it's also animated. And I don't know if they would really like bring them in at this point. <clears throat> What's up, Jazz? Technically, but I don't think they cross animation and live action. I they might. I know they've done something similar like that before. Melissa McCarthy is female doc. I think Miles might be a side character or even a cameo. I hope so. <clears throat> Melissa McCarthy is so unfunny. You see, I think she's kind of like the in-between part. Like I think she's funny at some movies, but others not so much. Like um the Happy Time Murders. I thought she was pretty good in that. Mike and Molly, I thought she was pretty good in that. Uh, Spy, like, she wasn't terrible in it, but she could have been way better. <clears throat> uh, posted a new video on my channel. Okay, I'll check it out later, if I remember to. If I don't, I apologize. Uh, I want Spider-Man to 3 just to be Tom. I mean... I kind of want that too, but at the same time, I do want to see Andrew and um, Toby back on the big screen. 
uh, about the Andre John. I'll check it out uh, because I know Marvel or Sony have said they have got an actor they want for Miles. Yeah, I heard that a while ago. Uh, I would like the guy from Stranger Things. Um, you're talking about like the police officer from Stranger Things, right? Because I know he's playing Red Guardian, and I'm very excited for that movie still. Uh, Miles would show up in a post credit scene, more than likely Venom. Uh, everybody has been asking for a live action ever since Tom started kind of <coughs> do it now. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, they already have an identity story to deal with. So Spider-Verse movies too much. Wait for Spider-Man 4 or even completely separate movie just called Spider-Verse. True. Uh, if Miles exists in the MCU, uh, definitely not canon with Spider-Verse. Miles does exist in the MCU. He was mentioned in Hunger. Yeah, he was uh, mentioned in it. Well, not fully mentioned like my like Miles. Uh, it was by whatever Aaron Davis, I think the name is. Anyway, uh, that character played by Childish Gambino. I know that's not his real name, but that's how I remember him. Uh, he says, I have a nephew in this neighborhood. I don't want him uh, in danger or anything like that, I believe. Uh, don't think Miles would be in a post credit scene. It seems so random for no reason. The only character who get that are Thanos. Caleb McLaughlin is a guy from Stranger Things. He plays the young black dean. Oh, you were talking about... Okay, that's where I got kind of confused. I thought you were talking about... Never mind. Uh, his name wasn't mentioned. Yeah, he's right. I'm not sure if he has enough exaggerated swagger. No, I'm talking about uh, one of the kids from the show. I think the character is called Luke. Okay, Lucas from Stranger Things. Yeah, well, Kayla McLaughlin, as Jazz mentioned. Yeah, I think he would do a good job as Miles, too. Uh, my favorite MCU figure at the moment is still the worthy Captain America. Like, I just... Love him so much. Um, it was a deleted scene, but he mentioned his nephew. So we know he does exist in the MCU. True. Childish Gambino mentioned he had a nephew. So sure. Uh, maybe in the five years between Infinity War and Endgame, Miles survived and took over as Spidey. You see, I would think that too, but I mean... Venom, but I mean, uh, it seems kind of random. Just like, oh, we don't have a Spider Man. Let's just, oh no, a spider. Like, like they have to like really think about that. Uh, no, that's a bad story. If Miles had taken over as Spider Man, it would have been mentioned in Far From Home. Also true. Uh, I'm with Game of that one. It's just a theory, a game theory. I hope Miles is not in the MCU. Uh, why do you say that, Optima? Uh, I'm just grabbing my computer charger real quick. Hold on. See, <coughs> uh, I think they will do Miles because Tom only has two more movies left on his contract for Sony and the Disney deal. I mean, yeah. I mean, he is right. I mean, I personally love Tom as Spidey, but he's had a good run so far. Like, he's been in more movies than the uh, other two have. Mm, excuse me. Gamer, the opening could be him dealing with the identity stuff, and Jamie Foxx from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 could travel to different universes. <clears throat> because, it's too, eh, because it is too soon to introduce him. I, I agree with that, actually, yeah. Uh, good point, Optima. Uh, exactly like Tom was Spider-Man for eight months when he got recognized by the Avengers, and Miles goes five years unnoticed. Uh, think Venom, that's not possible. Yeah, probably not. Keep in mind, Miles is also also belongs to Sony. Uh, in the Captain America stop motion I'm making, but in the beginning, I'm thinking that the people who watch it will have many questions. Uh, why do you say that, Austin? 
uh, I don't think it's too soon, but it's too soon to be Spider-Man. Agreed. <clears throat> Jeez, gamer. It was just a theory. Uh, I feel like Tom could do so much better as Spider-Man, but it's just the writing they do for the movies. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. So, if, like, I think he does a pretty good job, but he could be written a little better, in my opinion. Uh, not a very well-thought-out one. I mean, it wasn't a terrible one. Like, I mean... Like, I mean, if they mention something about another Spider-Man, like, going around, saving people, stuff like that, that would make more sense, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not a terrible one, but it could be a little better. Uh, bro, stop taking theories so seriously. We were just having fun speculating because we are excited. Uh, it is a speculation. Is it a great speculation? No. Is it a terrible one? Also, no. It's kind of like in between. Like, it's just a decent theory. Like, not a whole lot of concrete proof or anything like that. But, yeah. Uh, just, like, I usually like my live streams to be like chill and nice and stuff like that i'm not i just said it was impossible you're getting pressed about it okay okay everyone just take a deep breath like before we get a little too far into this uh, a couple main questions that people might say is why is Cap in the desert and why is he very injured? Oh, oh, that's very, that's very interesting. <clears throat> we already got uh, teasers, all three starting together last night, and it got taken down. What they could do is have a post-credit scene of a Spider-Man, of a spider biting. My I like what Smoke Giant's thinking. No, I am not. I am just saying, inhale, exhale. I'm just watching as I build my set. Okay, okay. I'm glad you're still here, Spider Dude. Thank you for watching and other stuff. Okay, dude, whatever. <clears throat> okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to go get some more liquid. My throat's kind of dry. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I'm just watching. Uh, okay, dude, whatever. He do be gone. He's never coming back. All right, guys, I'm the boss of this chat now. <clears throat> I'm watching while I'm making you stop motion. Well, that's cool. Uh, he's been gone too long. Carnage. What's stop motion? I'm going crazy. 199 something. 2020. He's back. Where did he go? Uh, I just went to go get something to drink. But I am back now. That was like one without God. <laughs> okay, I thought I had something there. Oh, damn. I was 30 seconds behind the stream. That's a big oof. Uh, maybe uh, I hope they don't put more than they... I don't think he's going to ruin the MCU in my personal opinion like he's a good character I really do think he could like have his own good solo movie like um Into the Spider-Verse but um when what the hell is his name when Tom gets a little too old to still be Spider-Man and he they want him to retire and everything Stuff like that. Then I do hope they do kind of 
<clears throat> Bring him in. Uh, gamer, I am not making a Marvel short. Uh, what makes you think that it would ruin the MCU? Wow, Optus racist SMH. Uh, maybe after seeing Spider Man 4 or 5, Miles can come in. You see, this is kind of my personal stance <clears throat> on everything. Like, I mean, Miles is a good character on his own. He did a fantastic job in Spider Verse. Now, do I think he needs to be put into the MCU now? No. But kind of like what Venom is saying, like within like a couple of movies, then it would be good. Like Tom Holland is about 24, 25 right now. And he's eventually going to be losing his like young look and everything like that. So they will have to bring in something if they do want to continue the um, MCU and things like that. Yeah, I can also see him leaving in the next couple of years, too. So, <clears throat> like, maybe do what they kind of did for um, Robert Downey Jr. Like, they're going to still kind of bring him in. Like, he's not part of the MCU anymore, but he's not. I just hope they make him retire. Like, he's uh, marrying Mary Jane, and he doesn't want to, like, leave the one he loves in danger and everything like that. Like, I kind of hope they give Tom's... Spider-Man, like, a good send-off. Like, not like Tony Stark send-off where he... And everything like that, but... Yeah. <sighs> uh, I can see three, four, maybe up to six years. Possibly. I wish Uncle Ben was more prominent in the MCU. We all do, Venom. We all do. I think if they are doing Miles, they have to kill Tom Spider-Man. <clears throat> or they could kind of do what they did in... um. What the hell am I thinking of? In the, uh, the new Spider-Man game. Like, not a big spoiler, but um, Peter goes on a trip with Mary Jane... And leaves Miles in charge of New York. So, like, I think if they did something kind of like that, like, Spider-Man just retires. Then I think they would be good. But, I mean, they could also do it like they did in Ultimate Spider-Man and have him fight uh, Ultimate Goblin plus the Sinister Six and a couple of other people in there. Like, that would be kind of cool and sad to me. Uh... Yeah, I heard that too. I hope they do. <clears throat> uh, that they'll return for a couple more movies. Uh, Austin. Uh, yeah, I know Uncle Ben is such an important character and part of Peter Parker's character. He is. I mean, they kind of replaced Uncle Ben with Tony Stark in that movie. So it's kind of like a 50-50. Like they did have a father figure for Peter. But it wasn't Uncle Ben. Which was kind of sad in my opinion. Uh, Miles could appear in Venom 3 and have him be developed more until Spider-Man 6 and Spider-Man 7 could be passing the torch from. You see, I don't think they're going to be making like a whole lot more Spider-Man movies with Tom though. Like, I hope they at least get to 5. But I think after 5, I think everyone's going to be kind of a little worn out and everything like that. Sorry, my nose is just stuffy. <clears throat> uh, he doesn't have to be that important. Uh, but isn't Spider-Man dying a big thing for Miles in the comics? Yeah, in uh, when Miles was first introduced into the comic book, Spider-Man was like about, I want to say like a couple weeks, a month to a couple weeks from dying, something like that. And he was going to go find Spider-Man or just keep his powers hidden or something like that. And then Spider-Man died. 
then a few things happen and blah, 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 blah. It's a very good story. I recommend you guys go check out Ultimate Spider-Man. <clears throat> but now Miles is in the actual 616 continuity, so uh, I don't know much. I do not know much you can do about IG. Do you think Spider-Man 4, Peter will go to college and Peter will meet Johnny Storm as a roommate like in the comics? You see, I don't think that'll fully happen. Like, it might, but I don't think it will. Because I don't know if they were, like, roommates in college or what, but... But maybe. I know they were roommates along with Iceman. Uh, I also just made a custom Banshee. Oh, that's cool. Like the Raimi movies, overdid it, in my opinion. But they've mentioned Uncle Ben twice already, so they just name drop him. I'd be good with that. Yeah, I'd also be good with that, too. Uh, gamer. <clears throat> Uh, being the last solo movie for Tom. I mean, it might, but I hope they at least give him a fourth one just to kind of, like, uh, beat the other two. Nope, Toby was going to be in six films from Sam Raimi. Okay, I never heard anything about that. Just want to change that to Spider-Verse. No. I think Spider-Man... Spider-Verse should... Be a giant crossover separate from the main Spider series? Maybe. Uh, have you guys heard the rumors about Fantastic Four being in it? I have not heard that, but I am excited now. Thank you for telling me that, Josh. You beautiful, beautiful Londonish boy with a sexy voice. Who really cares anymore? Spider Man 3 is going to be Spider Verse. Maybe. I hope it is, but it might not, too. Uh, I would have wanted a Spider-Man 4. I would have also wanted a Spider-Man 4. Uh, well, it can't be separate. That would be amazing with King the Conqueror as a villain. I would agree with that. Maybe not in that movie, but I do want King the Conqueror to be a big villain in the MCU. If you like it or not. Uh, no way Spider-Man 3 is going to be Spider-Verse. Yeah. Well, you know the villain for Ant-Man 3, right, Carnage? Oh, yeah, isn't it Kang the Conqueror? It is too soon. I know they mentioned Kang, I just can't remember what movie. But I think it was Kang the Conqueror. I could be wrong about that. <clears throat> Gamer, watch the new video from Sony and that got taken down. But it was on Sony Spanish YouTube channel. I will send you the link later. Yep. That's pretty much confirmed now. Uh, add me on instant and send it over. No, like the Spider Verse is too soon. I mean, you're kind of right off. It is a little too soon for it. <sighs> Smoky. <clears throat> Okay, uh, okay, you see, uh, I mean, I'm streaming, uh, okay, let me just kind of slow that down a little bit, uh, but I doubt they will, no, like, spider, okay, yeah, okay, no, but I doubt they already have an identity story to deal with, yeah, it's King, and isn't King related to Mr. Fantastic, well, you see, um, in the new Doctor, well, not so much new, like, it's about, Oh, a year old comic book series um like this is kind of like this doctor doom story like i know an issue like king the conqueror has appeared in that a uh, couple of times so far and from like one of the set 
one of the conversations they've had together, Kang keeps popping in and out just with Doctor Doom. Like, he keeps popping up around Doctor Doom. So the theory is he is either related to Doctor Doom, who is the biggest Fantastic Four villain, in my opinion, or he is related to Reed Richards. So either one kind of confirms that uh, the Fantastic Four <coughs> and or Doctor Doom is in the MCU, in my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, it should be a Peter Parker story with Peter on the run. Yes. Maybe in like two years, yeah. Oh, damn, that's a lot. <clears throat> uh, like I doubt though they just throw that away anybody see the new Mando episode I personally have not seen the Mandalorian but I do kind of want to start getting into it well never mind uh, my life is good opt uh, Carnage who do you think the villain will be in Spider-Man 3 I personally hope it is Jason Momoa as Kraven the Hunter and I really, really do want them to like do the um, do the um, uh, Craven's Last Hunt. Like that was a fantastic story, in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, no one's waiting for four years for the Spiders. Also true. Uh, I mean, just do a character that a lot of people would personally want, like um, or that you think would work out, like um. What's his name? Toad. Like, if you make a Toad, I think that would probably be very... Uh, also, have I have not watched The Mandalorian. Uh, we waited 10 for Infinity... I mean, Gamer is right. Uh, we're going to wait, like, 12 for f Thor 4. I mean... Yeah, probably. Uh, maybe... Maybe a Havoc custom, that would be cool. Yeah, Havoc, Havoc, Toad, anyone that doesn't really have a fantastic figure yet. <clears throat> People waited four years for Spider-Man 3 after Spider-Man 1 came out. True. 100% people are waiting four years for Spider-Verse movie. No, five years because Spider-Man 1... Was in 2002 and 3 was 2007. Also true. Uh, okay, directors of Into the Spider Verse wanted to bring Toby, Andrew, and Tom into the movie, but Sony said we already are doing something with those three. Ooh. I wasn't so sure when they came out, but that does prove my point more. Yeah, I mean, we waited <clears throat> five years for. A Spider-Man trilogy. Well, I mean, for me, uh, I basically didn't have to wait since the first Spider-Man movie came out in 2002, and the second one came out in 2004, and then I only had to wait three years, or a little less than three years. So about two to three years for Spider-Man 3. Um... I am going to make a Havoc. Ooh, fancy. That would be awesome. <coughs> I'm also very excited about Doctor Strange 2. The main reason why is because I really love multiverse stories. So like the Ultimate Universe, Marvel Zombies, stuff like that. Like Battle World Secret Wars was my favorite thing to read. Slash so watch any video of... Uh... And it's also kind of a reason why I do want to, sorry, why I do want to start making stop motions, but I don't want it to be like normal stop motions, if that makes sense. Like I want it to be my own type of universe and everything like that. But I'm thinking like, say for example, uh, I bring in Gamerverse Iron Man and like, um, What am I trying to think of? Like, first appearance Iron Man into a stop motion together. Like, as two characters. Two separate characters. Like, either time travel or multiverse dimension hopping. So, 
like multiverse stuff is my favorite. That's also why I loved Crisis on Infinite Earths and everything else like that. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is still the best Spidey movie in my opinion. I completely agree with that too. It is a pretty good one. Like all the other ones are pretty good, but Spidey Spider-Man 2 still definitely my favorite. Thomas was likely to be in the movie. But they couldn't get him for Spider-Verse. That was sad. Agreed, Venom. Spider-Man 3 is definitely going to mess up realities. Also true. I hope we get that too, Venom. That is definitely the one thing I want. <clears throat> well, you know they asked Hugh to come... I did not hear that. I hope they do. That would be phenomenal. Not pulling stop motion is like Spider Man series. Shake my head. Shake SMH my head. Shake my head, my head. Yes, yes. Good call, Carnage. That would be amazing. Uh, that's more of a Doctor Strange 2. True. She's confirmed in Doctor Strange 2, and she is a sorcerer. Marvel Marvel's Trilogy, WandaVision, Spider-Man 3. The best one overall. Agreed. Toby is my favorite. The OG. Well, I mean, I personally love Japanese Spider-Man from 1978. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've never really seen that show. <clears throat> Hugh Jackman is the best Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is the only Wolverine. He, he literally is the only Wolverine, so. Uh, yeah, it was confirmed by Kevin Feige, but I think Hugh said no. Oh, God. You know, I really hope they bring Deadpool into it, and he just comes in with, like, Wolverine claws and a mask. That would be fun. That would be great. I love that. Very, very quick. I'm not for sure though. I hope he said yes to like one very final team. Well, Deadpool is 100% gonna come into the end. I hope I hope he comes in at. Uh, I hope he does come in in Doctor Strange too, because that would be the best way to get him in. And since Doctor Strange is going to be... I think it's going to be like PG-13R, and I think you can get away with like one swear word in those. So I hope they give it to Deadpool when he just says, Mother! Uh, Toby has the best storyline. Uh, Tom has the best character development. I love them both. We... We well, see, I think, um, um, what am I trying to say? Andrew was a great Spider-Man. Toby was a great Peter Parker. Sorry if you can hear singing, my stepdad sings in the shower. Um, yeah, Toby, great Peter Parker, loved him. Andrew, great Spider-Man. And Tom is just like the middle ground where he's like perfect for both, in my opinion. Um... I think that's more that it is more likely that a Spider Verse would be a post credit scene than Spider Man three, like how Ant Man and Was Infinity War was going on at the same time. They just true. I feel like Doctor Strange two will make that happen. Also true. Lol, why Doctor Strange is in Spider Man three? That definitely confirms Spider Man Spider Verse and the other two Spider Man to help him and his identity stuff. Thomas best care actor slash written out out them all capturing Spider-Man and Peter Parker very well. But Toby and Andrew does better in one aspect, like you said. Yeah. <clears throat> Toby was signed to do two films and Andrew one film. What I would like for Deadpool to do 
is have not have a huge role in the MCU. I would like Deadpool to be a background character, like him watching every superhero from a distance. Only us, the viewers, uh, would only see him. I'm proud of myself for finishing my Sugar Man. Oh, congrats, dude. But yeah, I completely agree with that. Like, I mean, Deadpool can get his own solo movies and stuff, but like, if he was just in the background, like he was the Stan Lee, like he replaces Stan Lee in the movies. That, I think Stan would really enjoy that. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, sorry. I kind of dropped my phone today. Like, right there in my parking lot. Parking lot. Driveway, I mean. And I just realized that it kind of cracked, like, the corner of my phone. And I just got this thing a couple months ago. And this is why I need a case. <clears throat> uh, well, they have to have two Marvel characters in the movie, and it's very likely he's in it as a mentor slash small team up sensei actor interactive thing. Ew, Android, Apple gang. Okay, I personally am not a big fan of Apple. Like, that's just my personal opinion. Like, neither is better than the other. And this is basically... Like, this has been working for me for a long time. Like, this, not this one in particular. I've only had this one for a couple of months, I want to say. <clears throat> yeah like smoke giant says they're also a good uh phone as well plot after far from home peter and mj swing off watch boss baby 2 and eat epic Fortnite burgers peter kills the police and finds out the spiders and they have to team up and fight big wheel that would be beautiful androids have better battery battery life also agreed but the main reason why I prefer Android over Apple is because I've never really had a great experience with Apple products, in my opinion. A phone is a phone. They all do the same thing. Yes, like that. They're good, but Apple is better quality because of the price. The iPhone 12 is good. <laughs> They're good, but Apple is better quality. Eh. Quality? Eh. Uh, because of the price, but the iPhone 12 is garbage. That... We both agree on. Kind of, but not really. iPhone 6 was garbage, horrible battery life. I want an iPhone 11. Truthfully, my dream phone is definitely uh, whatever the newest Android phone is. Like that one. That one looks cool to me. have an iphone 11 oh aren't you fancy josh my big old joshy boy okay and just because a friend of mine started a live stream i'm gonna go join his live stream but i'm still gonna be in this i'm just gonna put it on my phone and not playing again you will fall all right here's my here's my new game guys we're playing uh Yu -Gi -Oh! uh the heart of the cards of volume one <laughs> Um, on VHS, uh, it's the best video game. <laughs> <laughs> the best first person shooter. Oh, dude, obviously. Okay, he's basically talking about how he is. My son came. Thank you, Carnage. Thank you, son. Thanks for coming over, son. How are you doing today? I'm still live streaming. Yeah, call it a sweater. Live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is my friend. His name is Brandon Syme. So go check him out. And again, that is Brandon Syme. He's a pretty cool dude. He basically just does a lot of comic book stuff. Uh, no one, no, someone will be the best. There has to be a best, but no one will be perfect. That is also true. Oh, uh, like I am oh, whoops. I am studying heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's an easy thing to do, kind of. Like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to remember, but it's pretty easy. Like, it's basically just a lot of working with your hands, which is something I really couldn't do last year when I was doing graphic design. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I can kind of do it. Like, basically, I, I just have trouble trying to remember the names of things. Like, I make up my own names for things, like... Uh, like the fan, I call that the blower motor. You can do that. Well, I guess the U.S. and U.K. education is different. Uh, I'm actually going to a trade school. Trade? Trade? Something like that. Well, I guess... Uh, Carnage King of... That's also true. Yes. Uh, Why did I choose that? Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, the reason why I chose it was because, well, uh, I thought I would do something with my hands because graphic design was not as fun as I thought it would be. So I just thought I'd go for like something I could use my hands for rather than just like, you know, just sitting behind a computer on a desk like this. Like, I, I can't do that for long periods of time. Uh, your savior has arrived. Thank you, almighty and powerful Hero Force Studios. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I mean, personally, I'm not big into like computers or anything, but good for you, Josh. Good for you, man. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to be try to do um, an updated collection within the next couple months. Like, definitely before Christmas, I hope. Uh, well, ventilation, from my knowledge, especially air conditioning, isn't popular in the UK. Well, I'm, I mean, possibly, possibly. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I think heating would definitely be, like, a little more popular, because I think it rains more in the UK than anything, but I don't, you see, I don't know if it even snows in the UK. I think it does. I feel like an idiot for saying this. Uh, well, most people don't have air conditioners. That's also true. Like, I mean, depending on the area where said person lives, like, I mean, I don't think a heater would be very useful. Like, um, say, for example, uh, like, really South Texas. Okay, you see, I heard from someone that it doesn't, like, oops, yeah. <clears throat> snow in the UK, and I don't know why I believe them. Uh, this is the first year I'm going to do a Christmas haul, and I got it from you back in 2017. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, someone, someone people do have... Some people do have AC, but most people don't need it. Yes. Uh, it's a lot colder and warmer in the U.S., I mean, gamer's not wrong. Like, especially, like, where I live, like, in the Midwest. Like, <clears throat> uh, what's the best example? Like, um, was it April? I think it was April. Like, I know in April, uh, where I lived, we had a snowstorm. So, like, that. Uh, it does snow in the UK. Take from a guy who lives in the UK. I don't think I will. I'm kidding. I will. Uh, I live in Ohio, and it is negative zero degrees all year long. Almost every house has an air conditioner in the U.S. Yes, and a lot of them do have a heater as well. <coughs> like, I mean, where I live, there is a substantial amount of the uh, air conditioners and things like that. you Ohio I mean I've only ever drove through Ohio once well because America is counted as a hot country true 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 <clears throat> sorry I'm just kind of seeing how long my hair is I 
that didn't work. I didn't like my hair. Yeah, like I think warmer countries definitely do. Uh... Have I made a diorama before? I have not made a diorama before. I know I've made a couch prop and a couple other things during the summer, but that's pretty much it. I haven't made any kind of display or diorama or anything. That's kind of broad, though. I've lived in a hot country for two months in total. <laughs> Your mom is pretty broad, though, Cameron. <laughs> Well, that's kind of mean. That's kind of funny. It's kind of mean. <clears throat> I forgot I'm still... Oh, well, I didn't forget you were here, little spider dude. Okay, this is a Snapchat someone just sent to me, but Pickleless Cage. Pickleless Cage. Pickleless Cage. Mainland U.S. can be anywhere from negative 60 to 120. Agreed. Uh, well, I am 20, almost 21. I made an abandoned subway. Ooh. And it was for my night shelf. Cool. That's ironic coming from you, universe. Good one, <laughs> gamer. Dad. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. I love that. It's beautiful. On one hand, I want to take a shower. On the other hand, I can wait till the morning. <laughs> yeah, like, after the uh, first next year, I can drink. Woo! Almost an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yep. Yep. Uh, what happened to you, bro? Are you gonna... No, I'm not gonna cry. Why do you ask that? Uh, Porter Flor... Flor... Flor now? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not trying to... Trying to. <clears throat> Let's go, boy. Hey, I drink. It doesn't mean I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, if the Trinity versus the Sinister Six happens, is happening i'm all in uh big up uk drinking age carnage is a real man well i wouldn't say a real man i i think more man child than man <clears throat> like just personally Uh, when is the release of the new Nova figure? It looks so awesome. I mean, personally, to me, uh, I'm not a big fan of the whole classic look. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming out soon next year. Like, within, like, the January, February, March time frame, I'd assume. I'm not positive, but I'm assuming it's around there. Mm, I don't know you guys are different over there. Hey, I'm a real man. Don't forget about me. You are also a real man, too. I am a real kid. All right. Uh, I like the old Nova better, but I think the body will hold up better. You see, I agree with that, uh, gamer. <clears throat> uh, Austin is 13. Uh, who is going to see the new movie with da Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland called Chaos Walking? I have not heard of that, so not me. 
I mean, uh, Smoke, I completely agree with it. Uh, hello, Ian Gomez Gomez. How are you doing tonight, dude? Uh, I've got a 34 voice. Yes, you do, gamer. Yes, you, gamer. I mean, mm, Josh, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, I am waiting for some new retro Spider-Man figure collection. If is if it's gonna be any for next year, you see, um, I know the um, Nova is gonna be a Walgreens exclusive, so uh, that's all I know about him. But I do hope they do make a couple more, like vintage figures for Spider-Man. Um, it's a sci-fi movie based off a book series. Cool. Double Gomez. Yes, Double Gomez. Big up, deep voice. True. Uh, I wish Retro Spidey would get back in stock on Hasbro Pulse. You see, I actually have only ever seen two of those figures before, and I really, really loved him. I was actually going to buy a second one, so I can like, well, just have a second one just because I thought it was that cool. Uh, the deep voice gets all the women. True, 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 true. Uh, look online. I'm a real teen. Uh, hope we get a blondie spider verse. Sp get a blonde. Oh, okay. I got kind of confused from what you said, but yeah, like blonde Peter Parker. Okay. He's a real boy. This is probably going to be the first movie I ever see where Tom Holland might say a cuss word. True. Um, muy pequeño, Ian. Muy pequeño. Uh, I am only allowed to buy one Amazon and mm, one Hasbro Pulse. And on Amazon, he is $50. That's expensive. Uh Anyway, uh, muy pequeño, muy pequeño. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone here is a teen, apart from Carnage, probably. Esque abro español. Uh, más o menos, más o menos. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I only remember very minor amounts of Spanish from high school. Uh, you kind of look like the blonde Peter Parker from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Me? You think I kind of... True. Uh, I'm going to be 18 next year. Oh, well, uh, happy year early birthday, my dude. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, what is high school like? Like, try to explain what it, what it's what it's like to go there and stuff for a British guy. Oh, what's the best way I can explain that? Um, okay, I want you to kind of imagine a prison type of thing. Like, I'm not joking. Like, kind of imagine a prison. Not a whole lot of windows. And for those windows, they are kind of, like, barred up. Not, like, full-on, like, metal chains and everything, but at my high school, they kind of had glass with, like, a metal chain mixed inside of it. Like, it's basically kind of like a prism, except, well, kind of, like, more freedom. You can walk the halls and stuff like that. And in mine, we did not have any doors on any of the um, toilets in the building because people ripped them off. <clears throat> Uh, I love Carnage's 150 sub video where he has a crown on showing he's actually king. I loved that video too. 
It is not like the movies at all, Josh. Not even a little bit. I mean, the scenery, yes, that is almost exactly like ones in bigger cities. But where I grew up, it was kind of like a two-story building with just a bunch of whole with rooms and a library, computer room, stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, maybe more interesting if they were in a movie together, but not playing Spider-Man. Ooh, I am hoping to see a new Vulture figure for next year. My opinion is that the head does not look so good as the old one, if you know what I mean. I, I do kind of understand what you mean, man. Yeah. It is not like the movies. So you guys not jump on table and sing. No, that was only High School Musical and a couple of their movies, I believe. Uh, I made a custom Cyborg Spider-Man a year ago out of Amazing Spider-Man 2 body. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Carnage, I have to go to bed, but it was nice talking to you. Good night. Have a good night and stay safe. I will, dude. Uh, good night to you. Hope you stay safe, too. Um, uh, Ian Gomez. Uh, mm, Marvel. 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 Carnage, I would like to apologize for my spelling and stuff. It is late for me and I'm falling asleep. Oh, no, your spelling is pretty good, dude. Like better than mine. Oh, it is 414 for me. Oh, okay. Uh, glad to know you're still here, uh, Spider Dude. And, dude, if you're tired, you can go to bed. It's not going to be a big deal to me. I mean, I appreciate that you've been on here for as long as you have been while it's that late. But if you're falling asleep, you, you can go to sleep. Yo, Carnage, remember when uh, you... Oh, when I sang, don't go breaking my heart. Thank you, thank you. I, I really tried my best. <clears throat> and uh, when I do make uh, enough money to buy a computer of my own rather than using one that my uh, college provided for me, I will definitely, definitely continue on uh, making live streams and other things like that. Yeah, Rocket Man 2. I remember that. That was uh, actually the last live stream I did, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it was like in August. Well, not this year, August, because that was when I had to return um, my school. It was like at the beginning of quarantine, I know. Like, um, oh, I don't remember when, but I know it was like there. What was this? The camera. Uh, I feel like you did on another one too. I might have. I don't fully remember all of them. Uh, I'm making the Black Suit Havoc that came out with the Juggernaut Baff, which is out of my budget now, but I'm just letting Black Dragon looks good so far. I mean, I think the only reason why that Havoc kind of went up in price... I'm <coughs> <coughs> sorry is mainly because of the Juggernaut part, not because of the actual figure. Like, um, I'm going to check on eBay and... Marvel Legends Juggernaut Wave Havoc. Yeah, I mean, from what it looks like... um. He is going between eighteen fifty and thirty-seven dollars. 
like I mean, if you want it like mint in the box, which I mean, not not bad, but mm. oh hey, uh, gamer, you're gonna be possibly happy about this. You can get Rogue for the price of two Marvel Legends. Yeah, it's like sixty now on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon like kind of garbage with their prices in my opinion like they always like jack things up like really high so i i would recommend just trying to like go on ebay trying finding it cheaper on there uh. At the moment, this one, Doctor Doom, is my favorite so far. <clears throat> yeah, you should probably get the new Cyclops of the Black Body. Yeah. I am back. I can't sleep. LOL. Well, welcome back. I'm happy you're here. Thank you for coming. I'll make it easier, but of course you'll have to wait. The X-Factor Cyclops is really cheap on Amazon. If anyone needs a Cyclops. Uh, he's actually needing a Cyclops for the black body alone. Mm. Venom, so like, thank you for helping, but that's not fully what we need. Uh, no one wants that. I finally found the white Walgreens Moon Knight a month ago. Dude, you are so lucky. I still haven't even seen it. Like, I mean, my Walgreens never even got, like, the thing. So, or Silver Surfer. So. Lucky, well, if anyone needs a Cyclops, it is a good figure. Agreed. Like, especially with the um, alternate head. Uh, that's Florida for you. Uh, if anybody thinks Spider-Man 3 is not Spider-Man, maybe you should wait until tomorrow and see what happens. Ooh, that Cyclops is the worst in my opinion. Yeah, no way. <clears throat> Yeah, he best, but he is okay. Gene is the worst one. Also true. You got Captain America word. Um. Okay. Uh, I do have a few Captain Americas. Yes, Ian. <clears throat> and to answer your question, uni uh, universe. Whoops. Does this answer your question? Because this is every single 3.75 inch figure I own. Is that the 3 inch one? Yeah, it is the 3 inch figures. 3.75, 3 inch, yeah. 
Uh, my first builder figure was oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Austin. Rhino is a pretty cool builder figure. I mean, I'm almost complete with mine. I just need the head and the arm that came with a uh, superior Spider-Man. Venom, I mean, not Spider-Man. And uh, thank you. Mm, excuse me. Wow, that is a great collection. I wish Hasbro would continue. I, I wish they would have continued too. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do. And uh, just for you, Universe, this was my very first... <coughs> Sorry. This was my very first 3.75 inch figure. She-Hulk. She's a she's a beauty. Uh, impressive. I'm sorry about that. Thanks. Sorry about your Rhino Austin. That is said. It it really is sad. Like no one should ever have anything stolen of theirs. Yeah, and then the second one I got was Gladiator. So basically, my collection was just two random 3.75 inch figures. That I didn't know anything about. And then I went to a Toys R Us and found the Series 2 Captain America. And this one was my favorite one out of my very, very small collection that I had. So I was just kind of getting a little caught up in memories and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I wish they pumped it on them Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe. Yeah. The problem was that I worked so hard for it, and I just... Yeah. Yeah, I know how you feel. Yeah, I've had a couple of things stolen from me, too. Yeah, and then I got these two characters I actually knew from 90s cartoons. And then, yeah, it kind of just grew from there, especially <clears throat> at... Christmas that year, like after I started collecting, where I got my collection doubled, basically. So, yeah, yeah. This was actually um, my first uh, collection. Yeah, I, I'm kind of sad that I don't really have room to place them up or anything, but. Uh, how many Marvel Legends do I have? Um, I don't have an exact number, but I know when I counted one time, it was like at least 250, but it's probably like closer to 300 right now. Like between 250 and 300, I want to say. Two hundred fifty, yeah, yeah, like two hundred fifty, three hundred, something like that. Maybe even a little less than that. I'm not positive. <clears throat> oh, and uh, another three point seven five inch figure. I was really happy about this one. Like, I found some random guy at an antique show selling this, like the same area where I got that. Uh, Galactus. Uh, I have a Marvel Legends under a Christmas tree. And I do not know which one it is. Ooh. Yeah, I know how you feel. Like, um, I know, like, when I was just starting out collecting, uh, there was, like, a handful, like, two Marvel Legends underneath the tree, I believe. Uh, I like you. Thank you. That was actually um, my, I want to say it was either my second or third stop motion, but thank you. I kind of tried on it. Like it was just kind of like a 50, 50 thing that I tried. Like, I mean, for one of my first few, like I'm going to call them practice runs. I think I did pretty decent. Like I thought I did really well, but anyway, uh, yeah. Like, these two were some of the last ones I've picked up for 3.75-inch figures. And just by themselves, I know these two 
go for like way more than what I got them for. Oh, and I got this one for free actually because the guy I went to, I go to him like every single time, and that was Union Jack. Yeah, he didn't come with a uh, left hand, which kind of sad, but I mean, he was free, so not a whole lot I can disagree about. Like, I mean, a free figure is a free figure, so. And then the only DC one I have. Sorry if I just, like, stopped talking. I'm kind of, you know, kind of lost in all the memories I had with these. Anyway, uh, thank you, Austin. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, just so you guys know, I'm probably going to have this, like, video go on for another 30 minutes, I want to say. Like about 30 minutes. Mainly because uh, at 11 o'clock this time last year, I had a car accident. See, sí, see. Sí. Uh, uno momento, por favor. Hey, Carnage, what game console do I have? Uh, I have a PS4, but I do not have PlayStation Plus or anything like that. Uh, I found the, the I found the Toy Biz Bullseye in mint condition for $15. The fig gods bless me. Yeah, wow indeed. Wow indeed. <clears throat> and I also have uh, three out of the four members from the Walgreens exclusive set, so pretty happy about that. I'll put those guys back up later. Yeah. Uh... At a Walmart hiding, which was crazy. Wait, to wait, Toy Biz Bullseye, like the one with the big, thick plastic bubble wrap. You just found that at a Walmart. That's crazy, dude. Uh, two. I have two DC multiverse figures. <clears throat> I dropped something. Or my Indian just place an oasis. Uh, yeah, uh, I only have two DC multiverse figures and five DC universe classics, which are kind of better versions of um of um what was I about to say of a uh, multiverse. But I have not picked up any new DC multiverse or anything like that. I'm going to when the uh, death metal wave comes out. I think it's a death metal wave. I'm going to call it the death metal wave anyway. Uh, these are not uh, any DC multiverse figures. 
These are from the line before DC Multiverse. Uh, the ones I have for DC Multiverse are both from the Doomsday Wave. And they are the Superman Doomsday character and the Batman from that wave, the armored Batman. And from DC Universe Classics, uh, I have Red Arrow, Green Lantern, The Question, who by far still one of my favorite ones from that one, from that line. And then I have Johnny Quick and The Flash. And these are both pretty much of the same figure, just different head and hands. But aside from that, they're the exact same one, just kind of changed up a little bit. Thank you, thank you. Uh, under a shelf, because I saw you two were look under one of the... Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. One of those, I was like, you know, I might have to try it as well. Third more but it's just sitting under there in in rust. It was Yeah, yeah, like I know I have that exact same bullseye figure. I don't remember where I put it, but I know I have it. <clears throat> Did I put it in here? I do not put him in here. Okay. But anyway, uh, I couldn't find the, uh, Galactus Wave Bullseye, but I did find this one. And this one's going to be kind of like the, uh, what's it called? The, um, like basically the grandfather of Marvel Legends. And that is the Series 1 Captain America. And this was ironically also my first Captain America yep got him for about 15 20 dollars I think uh, I'm going to call uh, I'm going to California tomorrow for my friend's birthday and we are going to Frankenstein's I'm so stoked so done. So done stop motion. Um, I think I know what you're trying to say, Ian. Uh, I have not made a stop motion in about two to three years, I believe. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I will try to be doing some in the future. Yeah, it's a classic. Like, your favorite superhero is Captain America. Oh, well, he's actually uh, one of my favorite, too. Like, yeah. Like, this one, I'm happy he was my first, so then I can kind of, like, uh, see where he started from. Like, I mean, he's a little loose, and he's kind of old, but... I mean, I'm not going to give him away, because he is kind of, like, a big, um... What's the word big part of my collection so okay yeah sorry kind of just reminiscing and all the memories I had with him when he was the only Captain America I had Yeah, 
Yeah, he is a pretty cool Captain America. Like, I know you can still find him for, like, cheap on eBay or something. My only comic book Captain America is... Ah, oh, Cap Wolf classic. Captain America from four years ago. I mean... That one may be kind of old, but it's definitely a classic, and I still love it. <coughs> Sorry. Like, um, if they had not released the uh, 80th anniversary Captain America, that Captain America would still be on my shelf at this point. But I mean, the 80 years Captain America and the... um. Werewolf Cap <clears throat> are basically the uh, same figure. Just a little more added in detail and stuff like that. Uh, again, much apologies, just, uh, looking at something. <clears throat> okay. Well, I really do appreciate everyone who's been on here. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. So, um, yeah, I think I might be just uh, shutting my live stream down at the uh, three hour mark. So we got about seven and a half minutes. So anything else you guys want to ask me or talk about? <clears throat> no, not sick. Not sick. Um, dry throat. Um, uh more agua or mas agua mas agua <coughs> uno momento por favor CC. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I've been coughing a lot. Yeah, that's a little bit my fault. Haven't been drinking a lot lately of water. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, Cinco minutos Pepsi. Pepsi. No Pepsi. No Pepsi. Oh, si, sí, Coca Cola. Uh, agua. Co agua in Coca Cola bottle. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to like dumb it down or anything 
Uh, my favorite X Men figure. Favorite one. Um. Uh, it's a definitely a little bit of sorry. Uh, it's a tie between X Force Wolverine and the Juggernaut Wave Wolverine. Like those two are definitely the two Wolverines I love the most. But if not Wolverine related, then um. Then I would, like, aside from Wolverine, like, Forge. I love that Forge figure from the Caliban wave. He was cool. I liked him. <clears throat> I.W. I.W. Oh, no, that's fine, dude. You're fine. But, yeah, uh, just so you guys know, I'm bringing in about, oh, two and a half minutes. So if you have anything left to ask me, uh, you have some, have one of Game Reverse. Uh, two Game Reverse, Iron Man and Miss Marvel. Iron Man E, Miss Marvel. Uh, I really want the Kitty Pride. From the Juggernaut Wave. Yeah, she's a pretty cool figure. I like her. I'm really happy I found... <clears throat> like... The figures from that wave. Like, the first one I ever got from that wave was... Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't have Game Reverse Cap. But... Uh, very, very cool. He is very cool. Still want him. But yeah, uh, again, live stream going to be ending in one minute, uno momento. Uh, I heard he is $14 on Amazon. Yeah, I've heard that too. And I've also seen him be the only figure from that wave that's on the pegs all the time. Aside from, who else is it? Um, Rage. Rage is another one I've seen on the pegs a lot. But yeah, uh, we are down to one minute on the live stream. So any more questions you guys have for me? Or anything you want to say? That's cool. That's cool. Um, I know I'll probably not understand everything that you say, but... I will definitely mirar video. Mirar video. Mirar Ian Gomez video. See ya. I'll see you later, uh, Ian. Uh, if I ever go to Florida, I recommend I go to uh, Mike's Comics. Best place for comic books and Marvel Legends. <clears throat> uh, I would, but I actually have my own place for that. I actually have a Walmart that gets doesn't have a lot of collectors that goes to it, so it's basically like pretty much mine. But uh, yeah, um, well, uh, I'll be ending the live stream now. So uh, uh, I really appreciate everyone who stopped by, watched, and talked to me. And uh, I really guys hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, uh, what else can I say? Um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, with that being said, my name is Carnage, and I will catch all of you great, amazing people later. Thank you, and goodbye. Uh, you have a good night, too, Austin. Uh, 
Uh, un moment. Sí. Uh, you had to leave and I came back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been going for about three hours now and uh, I still need a shower. And tonight, so yeah, I'm kind of ending it right now. I would have it go on for a little longer, um, but I'm getting kind of tired. My throat's getting sore, TJ, but I really appreciate that you came back. But um, yeah. I, I really do apologize for that, and I promise I will be doing another live stream uh, in the future, possibly for Christmas, maybe not, maybe New Year's, maybe something like that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today, so again, I really do appreciate you all for stopping by. TJ, I'm I'm sorry I can, uh, you, kind of showed up just as the live stream is ending, but I really do appreciate you coming back. But uh, anyway, before I uh, go on any farther, uh, I will catch all of you guys in a later video. I I will do. Uh, bye, adios, mi amigos, and we're done. Thanks again. Bye, guys.